just found out that Raul has bananas on his boat. It's a well-known, time-honored legend that bananas on a fishing boat will curse that boat. No wonder we're not catching fish. Okay, the pressure's on. Rel's gonna jump in and shoot some fish for us with his spear gun. We'll see. ¿Cuántos tienes, señor Plátano? No, Mr. Plátano. <laughs> Nada. Nada. Okay, that's Raul eating a banana, cursing the Polynesian gods. Big fish. Saying it doesn't matter to have bananas on the boat. Yeah. How many fish do we have so far, Raul? <laughs> it's the banana curse. Yeah, for real. All right, we've eaten all the bananas on the boat, and let's see if that helps. Oh yeah, the banana curse is broken. Got it? Oh, yeah. Okay, something new is coming in. Could be. It was a hard strike. I'm going to say it's a halibut. I'd love it to be a halibut. Or maybe it's a snapper. We're in red snapper country. That would be, that would be terrific, too. Yeah, it's a cabrilla. <laughs> but a pretty good snapper. But it's a nice one. Yeah, that's a fatty. Yeah. So I just caught another throwback. Ro tells me this is called the mother-in-law fish. Yeah. <laughs> La suegra. Exactly. And it's a little slimy thing with a big mouth. Back you go. This is a cabrilla. I've heard it called a cabrilla bass and a cabrilla snapper. I call it a throwback. <laughs> Not bad, eh? I sound like a Canadian. 
And in the end, we did pretty well. Now we're heading back to enjoy a delicious fresh fish dinner cooked by Raul at Mari Arena. <laughs> 